do that. Hold on. One. Okay, so this is the nutrition challenge for 2019. So we're doing something a little different than we've done in the past just to uh, make it not so boring. I figure if we do the same thing every freaking time, then it tends to get boring. So we're just gonna do something different. So it's gonna start February 4th. It ends April 1st. The cost is $50. Why? Right, because that's more expensive than what we normally do. Um, how we're gonna do this is it's a point system and if you get a certain amount of points, you get money back. So the whole point of this is it's for it's more expensive because the goal is if it was only 30 bucks, you guys may be like, eh, I don't really care if I lose $30, $50. You might care if you lose it so that way you'll actually stick with it the entire time because you can get your money back and if you can get your money back, we hope everyone gets $50 back, right? It would be great if we didn't lose, if we didn't make any money and, and uh, or we didn't get any money and you guys got your $50 back perfectly fine. That's why we kind of want to do that. So that's why we raised the price a little bit. So the goal is that we want you to get your money back, okay? How are we gonna do it in teams of two? Same thing we've done in the past. You do pictures, you do measurements. We had some people do the in-body stuff. If that's something you want to do, they come with the machine, they use electrowaves, they tell you your body fat, all that good stuff. You can do that if you want. The cost is $35 each time. We would just have them come once or twice, you know, right before we start this. So we find a day that works, one of those two days work for you guys. And then it would come at the end of the challenge and you can kind of see your improvements that way. So you just have something that's body fat percentage instead of just measurements and pictures. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. It's just an option. You guys can do it. Um, you just got to make sure that you must show the pictures and you must do the measurements at the end of the challenge if you want to receive prizes. And we are going to do a point system and we want to be honest, but we'll talk about that towards the end. But that's what we're going to do. So we are going to do the two things we're going to do is you're either going to do zone or you're going to do paleo or a version of both. So why would you do zone? Well, what is the zone, right? The zone is... It's just basically kind of just like macros, right? People are super obsessed with macros and what is macros and why do we do macros and all that stuff. The zone is just a prescription of macros, right? It's just in a form where everything is equal. So it's just, you know, 40% carb, 30% um, fat, 30% protein. Or so, yeah, 30% fat, 30% protein, 40% carbs. That's what it is, right? It's just an equal thing like that. And most of the people, when you do your macros, it's the, ex it's the same exact thing. They do 40% carbs, 30% fat, 30% protein for the most part. So the zone is in the same format. It's just in each block. So we've talked about the zone a little bit. So that's why we're doing the zone, right? It's just another way of doing macros. I think it's a simpler version because it's just super easy to do. You don't have to, you know, type in each little thing for your macros. I think it's easier. And what the zone is is seven grams of protein, nine grams of carbs, and 1.5 grams of fat. All of that would equal one block. So if I wanted a one block meal, I would do like a cup of strawberries, an ounce of chicken, and like three almonds. That, those three things, my protein, my fat, my carbs, is one block, right? If I was having four block meals, I would times all of those by four, pretty simple, okay? I think it's simple anyway. Paleo, um, if you're gonna do paleo, right? It's no sugar, no grains, no dairy, or no, no legumes. Have as much quantity as you want, but none of those things. So, um, why would we do each of those? Well, for the zone, it's just showing portion control, making sure everything is even, right? People don't understand how much they actually eat and maybe they're under eating, maybe they're super over eating, maybe they're eating so many carbs and they're barely eating any protein and maybe they're eating a lot of fat. You know, you can, there's a million things you do. With the paleo, um, you're just in void intolerance. So a lot of people are intolerant to grains and sugars and even dairy, they don't even know, right? Like people just, maybe not allergies, but just intolerance to them where if they stop drinking milk, maybe, Right? They might lose a little bit and they might start to feel better. Joints feel better, gut feels better, all that stuff. So that's the whole point of it. And obviously to eat real food. Both of these things prescribe you to eat real food, right? No sugar. The zone is kind of the same thing. We want to avoid sugars. We want to try to avoid somewhat of grains. Um, so that's kind of why we are doing the zone or paleo, okay? Now, if you want to figure out your blocks, we can teach you how to do this. And there's a whole paper that we have that will show you how to do the blocks. And another thing you can do, me and Tasha have it on our phones is you can go to the internet and I can have a page saved that is the zone blocks and I can look and see every time like, oh, I wanna have blueberries, what's a block again? Okay, I know, oh, okay, how much chicken is a block? Whatever, all you need is a scale to measure ounces, measuring cups and you should be good. But if you wanna figure out your blocks, there's an easy way to do it. If you do the in body and it tells you how much body fat you have, it would also tell you how much lean body mass you have, right? And lean body mass is the weight that you have that is not fat. Okay, so it's your lean body mass. And all you would do to figure out that is if you have those two things, you can figure out how many blocks. And it's just 10% of your lean body mass. So if I was a person who weighed 200 pounds, right, and my lean body mass was 180 pounds, then that means I would have 10% of that, which is 18. So my prescription is 18 blocks. So it's just an easy way to do it. So if you don't really know and you want to kind of figure it out, 
in body is the perfect way to do it. You can figure out your body fat, you can figure out your zone prescription, and then you're good from there. Okay, um, we're gonna have a cheat sheet for all this stuff, like just like we did last time at the gym, that you can write it all down, or you can take it to your house and write it there. I know it's a lot of points, um, and that may seem a little bit difficult, but like we said, the whole point here is that we want you to get your money back, so that's why I want you to keep points. So the meal points, you get a max of five meals a day. If you do a paleo zone, which is both, it's a zone prescription, but it's paleo, which just means there's no sugar, there's no grains, there's no dairy, or there's no legumes in it, right? If I eat just veggies and fruit, and I eat protein and fat, it's a paleo zone, pretty simple, pretty easy, right? Now, if I have to have bread with it, or if I wanna do a quesadilla or whatever, then yeah, that one's not gonna be the paleo, that one's just gonna be the zone, right? So paleo zone is plus three, just the zone, meaning you have some dairy in it, you maybe have some sugar, you maybe have some grains, something like that, it's only plus two, and paleo is plus one. So paleo would just mean you don't measure anything. You eat as much as you want, as long as it's not any of these three, any of those four categories, you just go buck wild, that would be a paleo meal. If you do a paleo meal that includes dairy, right, which is cheese or milk, anything like that, then you just get zero points. And a cheat meal would be minus two. So even one M&M is a cheat meal, and you know what a cheat meal is, right? If I have, if I order pizza, as many pizzas as I can eat in that meal is good. If I eat pizza at six o'clock and then I have pizza at nine o'clock, no, it's not one cheat meal. That would be two separate cheat meals because it's two separate meals. So just be honest with yourself there. Um, the rule of five bonus points. So if you have five meals a day, you get a bonus point of plus one every day. If you eat within five hours of the meals, right, every five hours I'm eating, you get another plus one. If though you have more than five blocks per meal, you get a minus one. So the whole point of that is that people, the reason we don't want five blocks is because people tend to maybe not eat and then at night they're trying to stuff everything and they're like, oh, I need to make up five blocks. Well, maybe I'll just eat some ice cream because that's pretty simple to get some blocks in. So we want to try to avoid that. Um, another way to get bonus points daily is if you do 64 or more ounces of water, you get plus one. If you do eight plus hours of sleep, you get another plus one. If you get 100, if half of your blocks are from veggies, you get plus one. If you're doing paleo and you don't know what blocks are, well, it's pretty simple. Anything that is your carbs, right? So if I'm eating five meals, half of it for my carbs should be fruit and half of it should be veggies. If that's what you're doing, then yeah, you'll get a plus an extra bonus point. These are very hard to accomplish. The water may not be, but sleep and the carbs are very difficult to do. But the reason they are bonus points is because if you do do them, I guarantee you will notice an improvement in how you feel, body composition, and fitness, right? I'm not saying you have to, but if you attempt to do them, I guarantee you will start to see even better results from it. Um, exercise points. If you do five or more workouts a week, you get 20 points for the week. If you do four workouts a week, you get 10 points for the week. If you do three workouts a week, five points for the week. If you do less than three workouts a week, minus 10. So the goal is we want you to come, we want you to work out. Workouts must be at a CrossFit affiliate. Can't do stuff at home. If you're one of those people who's gonna go on a vacation, yeah, we can come to an agreement where maybe I tell you, hey, do these three workouts, show me proof of these workouts, maybe show me your times or whatever. But it's not like, oh, I ran on the treadmill for 20 minutes, I'm gonna count it as exercising. No, it needs to be in the CrossFit affiliate so we can actually manage your intensity, all that kind of stuff, okay? Deductions, if you don't do any fish oil, Fish oil is pretty important. Um, if you don't know what kind of fish oil we're looking for, two easy ones on Amazon. Muscle Farm, it's like 10 bucks, and it's super, it's pretty good. Or there's, a, what was the other one called? It's, a, the other one is Carlson's Liquid Fish Oil. It's a little more expensive, but it's pretty good, and it's a pretty big container. It'll take you a while to drink it. But this will just help the joints feel a little bit better. Um, at least three grams of EPA to DHA per day is what we want. For the fish oil so if you don't have fish oil start getting it if you don't take fish oil per day three grams per day then you get a minus point each day each alcoholic or sugary drink is minus one a max of five per day so if you know you're gonna go partying might as well just get it out of the way and just drink as many um, each serving size will be minus one so if I had if I wanted to drink a pop and I just had a can of pop right 12 ounces is the serving size I drink one of them that's a minus one if I drink five of them it's minus five if I drink a liter I don't know how many is in a liter, how many ounces in a liter, but you get the idea, right? That includes energy drinks, that includes diet drinks, that includes all that good stuff, okay? So anything basically that isn't water for the most part. Um, we'll do two winners, so how do I win? You can do body composition, so we're gonna do the inches. If you do the in body, we'll do the pictures, and we're gonna do workout improvements. So we're gonna do start out with a workout on Monday, so on February 4th, we'll do a workout. At the end of it, on April 1st, we will retest that workout. The person who has improved the most, We'll get a workout improvement. Um, how can you get your money back? So this is in points of teams of two. 
It's actually, we made it kind of tough to do it, but we want you to do it, right? 2,200 or more points between you and your partner. You get all your money back, plus you get some gift cards we'll give you, and they will be uh, just kind of like the referral gift cards. They'll just be, you can take them, you can use them for a membership, you can use them for a t-shirt, you can use them for protein, whatever you want. 2,000 to 2,200 points, you get all of your money back and that's it. 1,600 to 2,000 points, you just get half of your money back, so that would be $25. And zero to 1,600 points, you forfeit all the money. So the goal is we want you to get some money back, right? And maybe even something else. Like we said, the points are in teams of two. Now, there is just the worry that it's a point system that people don't tend to be honest. Not saying that that happens, but you know, I know when we do points, people always express it to us like, hey, are, are you sure they're legit? And we just give them the benefit of the doubt for sure. So just make sure you're being honest with this. Um, obviously, if the points are perfect, but the measurements don't line up, then we probably know something happened, right? If, some do, if somebody is, is perfect throughout it and they only lost two inches total and 2% body fat, chances are, did they really stick to this perfect prescribed? Probably not, right? So it's just, you know, we want you to just be as honest as possible. Since we know that money on the line, yeah, it's a big deal, but we just want honesty to be the best policy. But that's how we're gonna do this. I know it seems like a lot, but it's pretty simple. If you eat well every single meal, and if you eat five meals a day and you, you just eat within five hours, you will be able to get all of these points for the most part, right? And um, in order to get 2,200, you don't have to be perfect. You can have some cheats in there. You can have some just zone meals or just some paleo meals, right? It's still very much possible to get the 2,200. You just need to be able to work out, maybe get some of the bonus points, not have many deductions. Make sure we stick to uh, the rule of five and um, eat good and you should be okay. If there's any questions, you can either comment in the post because we're going to post this on the Facebook group or ask me or Tasha and uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I got.